Welcome to part three of my projection mapping tutorial. If you have not seen part one or part two, be sure to look in the description for those before you proceed with part three. If you remember from part one, I had mentioned to make sure you remember the resolution that you did your original trace in. The reason why you need to do that is because now that you're in the video software, you have to physically enter in the resolutions that you want your project to be in. You want to go to File, Project Settings. This is where you're going to enter the width and height based on the resolution that you had previously done your trace in. As you can see, I already have mine set up for projector with my 16 by 12 resolution. Again, same as what I did my trace in. Just want to enter in your resolution based on your trace. Click OK. Next I'm going to go over importing of your masks or any media that you want to bring in to work on. What I like to do is I like to enter everything into a library so I will create as you can see I already have a lot of stuff. I've been doing this for a couple of years so I have quite a bit of stuff already in here. What you need to do is select an area to create a new file. Just right click, select new folder, name your folder. For me I'm going to name it masks for tutorial which I have already done. Once you have your folder set up you want to make sure you select it on the folder. Click import media and then find wherever you put your media if you had it a file on your desktop or wherever it is you want to select everything that you want to import in this case I will go to cam studios that's where I put my mask just for the sake of this tutorial you can either click them each one at a time or if you hold control and click can actually select the list of everything you want. In this case I want to bring just these three masks in. Open. As you see it brought them all in right over on the right hand side. 